What's the difference between a crossover and an SUV? Well, that's a question that often confuses and confounds. And coming up next on the fast lane car, or is it a truck? I'm gonna let you know exactly what the difference is between these two types of vehicles. This brand new Chevy Suburban is an SUV, a sport utility vehicle. In fact, it's perhaps the original SUV. And that's because in 1935, Chevy took a half ton truck, stuck a station wagon body on top of it, called it the Carry All Suburban, and thus the SUV was born. This Lexus RX is a CUV, a crossover. Back in 1998, Toyota took a Lexus ES, which was basically a Camry, made it a little bit taller, gave it an upright seating position, gave it an optional all-wheel drive, stuck a station wagon body on top of it, and called it, well, a crossover. And there's a difference. The number five difference between an SUV and a crossover is that an SUV is basically a truck with a station wagon body on top of it, and a crossover is basically a car with a station wagon body on top of it. And the reason they're both so popular is because, while well, they carry a lot of things and people, and they go in all kinds of inclement weather. From now on, I'm gonna use the word in general a lot because in general, the number four difference between a crossover and an SUV is all-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive. And that's the difference between a car and a truck. A truck is four-wheel drive, which means that, well, you can engage four-wheel drive with a lever. You can select whether you want the power to go to the back wheels or all four wheels. Whereas in a crossover, it's usually all-wheel drive, which means the car usually is front-wheel drive, but in case of snow or mud or just slippery conditions, the car can be all-wheel drive. And by the way, that lever I mentioned, that connects to a transfer case, which gives you a low range, which most SUVs have, but most crossovers don't. In general, the number three difference between a crossover and an SUV is that since an SUV is basically a truck underneath, it has a solid rear axle, whereas a crossover has independent suspension all around. Now, there's a lot of crossovers, so I've made a kind of a short list of SUVs that'll explain the difference. So an SUV is a Forerunner, an Expedition, a Navigator, an Armada, a Sequoia, the recent Infiniti QX80 that we tested, those are all truck-based SUVs, which makes them much bigger and usually much heavier than most crossovers. So what are trucks known for? Well, of course, they're work vehicles. And in general, that means that an SUV can tow more because it's a truck. So if you have a vehicle that can tow over 5,000 pounds, and this is once again, in general, chances are that it's an SUV. If it tows 5,000 pounds or less, it's probably a crossover. And the number one difference, and I'm not even gonna say the word in general, because this is what defines the difference between a crossover and an SUV, is that this is basically a truck. It's a body on frame vehicle. There's a ladder frame underneath this truck, which makes it heavier. This is a unibody vehicle. It's basically built in one piece. That means that in general, this is heavier and this is lighter. As always, this is Roman reporting for TFL Truck or Car. Well, you know the difference now. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Ciao. Here's a little bit of trivia for all you Jeep fans. Did you know that the Jeep Grand Cherokee has always been a unibody vehicle and the Wrangler is body on frame making the Grand Cherokee a uh, crossover and the Wrangler or truck. Well, for all you Jeep fans, they're just Jeeps. I'm really impressed, Nathan. This Jeep is uh, just eating up this terrain like it's candy. 
But if you're interested in seeing the difference between two wheel drive versus four wheel drive, just click there and please click down here to subscribe to TFL because we love the fact that you guys love watching these videos. Ciao.